We have zero plan on how I'm supposed to do this. We did not. Hi, I'm Marcus <laughs> and I'm black. And this is Ask a Black Snowboarder. And I've been sponsored twice. And you can follow me on the Instagram, at Digbeats. Can we just use that? No. Come on. No. Come on. No. Oh. I, I know the show is supposed to be comedic, and I would love for it to be right now, but there's just no joke that I'm willing to make about what the IOC and FIS did to those girls. That was the most blatantly disrespectful thing that anyone has ever done to any pool of athletes in the history of fucking sports. They basically looked at those women and said, your lives, your livelihoods, your health, your futures don't matter because we need something to fill a half hour of TV space. So go fucking hurt yourselves. Never in my life at any level of competition from amateur to professional was I ever not able to be part of the discussion when weather was an issue at a contest. Riders were always consulted. And they looked at those women like they were children that didn't know how to make their own decisions and didn't know how to decide for their own well-being, or they just didn't give a shit. And that's unacceptable. So we're taking a break from the funny to say, fuck FIS. They do not deserve to govern snowboarding. They are not worthy of those women. And I have my qualms with women snowboarding. Don't get me wrong. I bitch about plenty. But at the end of the day, their athletes... They are the top in their field, and to make that kind of decision and put them at that kind of risk without them ever getting a say is absolutely unacceptable, and they should be ashamed of themselves for what they did. They made a sham of that Olympics, and you know if they wanted money, if we want to talk realistically, everyone's talking about it's about the money. They don't care about the athletes. They need the money. How much money did they just lose for future Olympics because they made the women's snowboarding look unwatchable? Who's going to tune in next, next four years from now? Who's going to watch in 2022 when their memory of women's slope-style snowboarding is a bunch of girls that can't even make it to the landings or are skipping jumps? You know, you can't, it's a bluebird day. They can't see wind on TV. So as much as the announcers might want to ramble about it or try to talk about it, what the American public sees is a bunch of women absolutely paling in comparison to what they saw from the men's competition, not even being able to ride the course. What was it? 41 women in the field fell? 80% mm -hmm. fell or were unable to complete the course. They'll postpone a fucking slalom race because... The updraft will affect times too much, but safety be damned for these women that have worked their entire lives to be on this stage. One of, one of the scariest moments in my entire life was when I was, I think, 14 or 15 years old, and there was a border cross contest with about a 40 mile per hour average crosswind, gusting up to 50. And... I remember they let us ride it because most of it was sheltered by the trees. There were only, essentially only one jump where you were exposed to the wind. Other than that, you're on the ground, you know, it's, it's a head-to-head, -head, so times don't matter. You're not worried about the wind effect on the time. And we all kind of thought that it would be okay. I think it was the second heat, I come into the one jump that's exposed, which also happened to be the, the longest gap on the course. It was probably 40 to 45 feet. And I got in the air, in the wind, just, it took me probably 40 to 50 feet left. I completely missed everything. And I, I don't think there's ever been a time in my life in snowboarding where I was more terrified than when I was in the air knowing that I had absolutely no control over where I might end up. And they just did that to 50 girls, 55 girls. They subjected them to that for two runs on one of the most challenging slope style courses I think anyone has ever seen. Pretty much the ultimate fuck you to the athletes. I hope that people involved in those decisions, I hope the coaches 
see this or they see any of the fucking myriad of critiques and slams on them in the media. And I just hope they go home and are miserable. I hope they are ashamed and depressed and I wish all the fucking worst feelings on them. I hope they have to walk through life thinking about what they did to those girls because they may have ended some girls' careers. They may have crushed the dream of several young girls that wanted to build the sport of snowboarding for women. Like, they, they set women's snowboarding back two decades. And if we're being fair, they were already about a decade and a half behind the men. So congratulations, FIS and the IOC. You fucking ruined women's snowboarding. Hope you're proud of yourselves. Quite frankly, if, if it were me, if I were in charge, or if I had any say or any influence, I would be pushing for every single one of those girls to boycott any level of international snowboarding until FIS has no say in any of it. Because they don't deserve it. All right, so this has been Marcus Stevens, your resident black snowboarder for Ask a Black Snowboarder, brought to you by the Angry Snowboarder. I'm not angry, he's angry. Let's remember that. I'm not angry. I love you guys. And if you love me, like, subscribe, share, click the bell so you get the alerts. It's down here, somewhere. I don't know much about YouTube. Uh, yeah, tell your mom, tell your friends. And uh, if you hated it, I'm doing my job really well. We'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to leave comments, because I will talk shit to you. Oh, another thing, guys. If you like what we're doing and you want to try to support, check out the link below. We've got a Patreon now, and it gives you some really cool options with great benefits to give us some support monthly and get a little bit back and some sneak peeks behind the scenes. So check it out.